Varian with Warbringer. Adorak. Not Falstaff. I mean, Falstaff's good for the global. But he does not have the ability to stop someone safe for using uh, Mighty Gust. Li Ming with Wave of Force. Good. Li Ming Disintegrate. Not as good. ETC. Great. For the rest, you cannot control the chaos. You cannot limit it. You can only make sure that you are not putting a mental burden on your team by being both self-sufficient and e effective. Rainer can interrupt, that's true. Uh, what keyboard are you using? Uh, the uh, ROG Claymore. Cas yes. With uh, Cherry MX brown switches. Smashing. Smashing, baby. Oh, groovy. Artana's banned. It's Garden of Terror. They ban what? Why doesn't Samura get to see any pro play? It's because at pro play, Cloak is almost a non issue. Call me Nazesti. Because they're so good at seeing the blur. Imagine some Murrow without Cloak. Just remove Cloak from Windwalk and tell me if you think he is as good as others. Is his utility or his damage better than alternatives? And once you answer that, you can make a case for how he is somehow better. Then enter pro play. Because Cloak does not form any uh, value in pro play. It does, but it shouldn't, and not to, it's not nearly as big. So just for the purpose of the exercise, pretend it doesn't exist. Oh, uh, my dog is lying particularly photogenically. So it's time to show. My hatred is unending. It's the uh, it's such a nice comforting present uh, uh, presence. Even when I don't look at him, I still I hear him ready. S sleep and dream, and it's it sounds so nice. Uh, too bad that he's Asmo because it doesn't combine that well with Vikings. We will forge a great destiny. Salama, Last night, I lost a game on Curse Hollow to Zagara, Asmodan, Zera, Nova, Artanis. We won early game, but we lost late game. I was not sure of what strategy to have against that camp. What would you suggest? Was that Hero League type of death void? Zagara, Asmo, Zera, Nova, Artanis. Well, I've said it before. Asmo together with Zera Nova are a very good combination. He puts the map pressure and they hunt the defenders. It's wonky, but it works. They didn't have a healer, but they have double pusher and double cloak. It can be pretty difficult, especially you know at the lower levels. But I've won at Grandmaster with Asmo Zera Nova. Uh, what you need to do against that, you know, it's tricky because they got these globals that don't really do a direct team fight. So you need really good defenders. And basically, your main target is Asmodan and Zagara. They don't have, uh, a, you know, an escape when you find them. So you need to have a hunting squad and good wave clear and defense. What you don't need, really, Change is uh, uh, high damage. You don't need good uh, spread damage or something. They're never gonna group. So don't take something like Kel'thas against that Reckoning or Jaina. Go for something like double warrior, single support, specialist and ranged assassin. That would be the best answer. So for example, um, go get Nazebo. He's really good at late game and you know that they will try to get to late game. So you get an Azebo, uh, you get something like 
Uh, ETC with stage dive so that you can hunt Nova down. You stage dive when she tries to escape and you power slide. She should be dead. So you get ETC, Thrall, uh, Nazebo. And then you get... Uh, let, wait, let's see, who's a good defender against uh, Push? Keep up these amazing casts, Scrubby Ear 3. Thank you, man. I, I gotta think about the hero roster. Let's see. The gates shall open in 10 seconds. Uh, yeah, Nazebo is good because it de stresses your late Five, game. He's so good late. Four, Don't take anything three, like Bala or Kel'thas. Uh, who's good wave there? Yeah, maybe like Lunara Thrall, ETC. Anyway, uh, I gotta focus on this game. What do they got? Double support, Illidan Volatirial. Okay. With purpose. Uh, can only occur once per cast. Oh, okay. I'll get Lion's Maw. Serve with honor. I thought I just saw someone die. That's weird. I fight for my kingdom. Uh, we won with Nazebo, killer on ice. It was close, ten percent core. Heroes, night will fall in just a few moments. I hope you're ready. To arms. We fought the blood. I remember that. That happened to me. <coughs> With purpose. Um, yesterday I played some quick match, and I tried both Taunt and Colossus Smash. And I feel like Taunt is just better. It achieves much of the same thing. It doesn't have as much bonus damage, I guess. But, uh... The, the lockdown that Taunt offers makes your team kill them just the same and you're like infinity more survivable. Does Jaina get much use anymore? Yes. Uh, particularly in combination with Zeratul. Why Zelia took High King's quest over Lion's Maw in a taunt build? I don't know. Zelia is a damage player, so... I mean, they're both damage, I guess. I think it's it's not uh, good to do that. Especially in pro play, there aren't as many takedowns. Greetings, friend. Good. I was Finally reached platinum today after playing a lot of Zoria. Would love to see you play her tonight, D. Oh, targeted hills, Lily. Uh, with Zarya, yeah. Okay, I can try and freeze this. And thank you for the nine months sub. And with it, my children must. In quick match, you might have a team that doesn't have the damage and needs Colossal Smash to kill. Exactly, and that makes Varian a nice quick match pick. Uh, let's see, a 7 I will get. Second wind, I think. Yeah, Lion's Maw gives you more burst in 1 second. A completed Hiking's Quest gives you more burst in 2 to 3 seconds. I fight for my kingdom. The bottom line is that Hiking's Quest is just more difficult to complete. 
She must not have cloak talent or she would have pounced on that cloak. <coughs> okay, she does. She's just she's got self-restraint. Well done, heroes. Uh I get second wind. Oh, for shame. Greetings, friend. We forge our own John Ike, thank you for selling. Welcome to the club. This one's mine. Bold. So that plant actually got us mad value. We got a full fort out of it and we climb back in the XP even though we're one and three in takedowns. I'm going to not show in lane and go help the team. Are they still fighting? No, they're not. So I'll do the lane. How do you feel about Varin as a solo laner on a map like Braxis? Terrible. Braxis gets determined pre-level 10 I usually and Varin is not good pre-level 10. Grubby, you true gentleman, indeed. I'm reminded kingdom. of the knights of old, indeed. <laughs> your hair is rather stylish, indeed. Upon yeah, seeing your lost. face, I feel immense pleasure, indeed. Use the fingers of someone with exquisite fingers, indeed. Nice shirt, indeed. <laughs> Storm winds light <laughs> shines on. The night comes. So ridiculous. Remember, Thank you, Tassel. And <coughs> I fight for my kingdom. Nice feed indeed. Slaughter them all. Take back my seeds. <laughs> this is a nice cheese. Half life. A kind donation indeed. Six indeed. For the glory of the what alliance. is good sustain consistent fighter? Who can go for YOLO plays either? Hmm. I'm not sure exactly what you mean, Rudinator. But Thrall has nice sustain and can solo make play. It's a five man. We march. Long overdue. A terror grows for your enemies. <sighs> Storm winds light shines on. Long overdue. You're holding back. Don't. Great deal. He's not using a whole lot of Spore Queens, Curse. Indeed. <laughs> we gotta keep. Nice. He promised. We <laughs> got the key. Good. I was grooming. Press forward. So emo. Going for seats. Good. I was Face me. Yeah. 
get some heals. Nice. Man, we had a lot of chances there to do better in the fight. The Sank just ruined us. Really great Sank. Indeed. Your enemy has spawned a terror. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we're fort down, we're keep ahead, we're level down, we're one nine in takedowns. They do have a triple support Illidan camp, so it is definitely difficult. We need to go for a single target, focus them. In this case, I guess we'll be going for the plant. Indeed. I need three more for my lion's maw, and then I get the bonus slow. Nice. I opened with taunt into stun and Q, and Kalthas followed up really well. Even Tyrael can be burned, that's nice. Lost the game. <laughs> Epic. <coughs> That's Grandmaster level game for you. Feels bad, man, for them. <sighs> Two and nine. The Tyrael kill that we set up near our gate was our second kill. Before that, we had 10% of the takedowns that they did. Easy game, I guess. The build was extended laser, demon warrior mana reduction, uh, bound minion, demonic invasion, burning demon warriors, and then we were not level 16, so. <laughs> so the thing that you guys most want to see is as level 10 is reached, Osmo walks here, casts demonic invasion, which by the way has grotesque range, and then summons a general of hell on it, throws a Q, and dies. Keep his left at half life. Why replay and not live gameplay? <laughs> the same reason writers publish anthologies. Free content without effort. No, because everyone wanted replay. <laughs> okay. And then what? Okay. 
Okay, this is where we all died. And then what? To defend. The fact that I didn't notice he did it shows that it was the perfect time to do it. It means the opponent didn't notice either. No one here that says suddenly, wait, where is Asmo? And it's even better the fact that we killed Tyrael and that they attacked our gate. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> what a cheesy Asma. <laughs> How they're still hitting XP, even though we got a two for one. I guess two for one is not too big of a deal. Nice. 